Well, this Saturday night, Marathon Weekend steps off with the Covenant Health 5K and the kids run. But what happens when the races aren't the only thing happening downtown? How do you keep the runners safe and the traffic moving? Thankfully, it's not our problem to solve. Uh, here's a special marathon version of Behind the Badge. Needless to say, Marathon Weekend is always a busy time for KPD, but this year a few new wrinkles have been thrown in. This year, because of the way that several events fail, uh, we now have four significant events that fall on Saturday, April 1st. And that's no April Fool's gag, as along with the 5K and Kids Run, officers will have the Eagles concert at Thompson Bowling, the Big Ears Festival and Parade downtown and the Dogwood Arts Chalk Walk at Market Square to contend with. We're talking 30% of our force there on, on one given day. So what do you do? Well, one of the men tasked with keeping downtown moving is KPD Captain Sammy Schaefer. The minute they realized the conflict with the, uh, with the concert, we immediately sat down because we do have to approve those routes. And when he says we, he means a number of agencies that have been formulating a plan for months that allow both the runners and motorists to keep moving. When we start closing the streets, traffic engineering is involved and we're involved. Uh, when we go on university campus, university's involved. And so we all have to start working very early and come up with a, with a reasonable solution. And the biggest part of that solution involves 17th Street. Normally, concert goers heading to Thompson Bowling would take I-40 to 17th and then straight to campus. But because of this year's 5K running through the fort, 17th will not be an option for concert goers. The 5K actually cut off that northern approach to campus. We want to encourage folks that are going to Thompson Bowling Arena for the concert to utilize Alcoa Highway to Nayland Drive uh, or utilize James White Parkway to Nayland Drive. And that change in plans brings us to Captain Schaefer's five tips. Number one, have a plan to get to where you're going. Two, have a plan B in case plan A falls through. Three, obviously with so much going on, leave early. Number four is be alert. And finally, be patient. Be patient with each other, be patient with us, uh, be patient with the venue when you get there because it's, it's going to be a lot going on. There will be a lot happening, that's for sure, and that just scratches the surface for Saturday. Now, Schaefer tells me that for Saturday night, KPD will utilize about 100 officers. For Sunday's full and half marathon, that number will grow to roughly 200.